I grew up listening to so many different piano players, starting with Little Richard and Jerry Lee Lewis, Fats Domino, Floyd Kramer, um, going through the whole roster till suddenly in the late 60s, I heard a record by Delaney and Bonnie. And I thought, wow, I, this guy who plays on this record, um, he's got everything I like. He's got soul and gospel and kind of bluegrass and everything going. And, uh, and then I, didn't, I went to see Delaney and Bonnie in England and I saw him and he looked like something from uh, outer space. He was uh, pretty amazing. But then he did the Joe Cocker, Mad Dogs and Englishman, and uh, then he really looked like something from outer space. Uh, <laughs> He became the master of space and time, and he wore that hat and those aviator glasses, and he looked like a mean mother <laughs> I met him after the show, and not only was he sweet and kind, he uh, gave me a recipe for my voice, which I still use to this day, and he asked me to do some dates with him. And listen, he was my idol. To meet him, I was shaking. For me, he sang, he wrote, and he played just how I wanted to do it. Only recently have I discovered how many people's records he played on. Leon played on Bing Crosby, Johnny Mathis, Doris Day, Dean Martin, Herb Alpert, Frank Sinatra, Strangers in the Night. Da 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 da. Remember that? The Ventures, The Everly Brothers, Del Shannon, Dwayne Eddy, Bobby V, Bobby Darren, Jan and Dean, Let There Be Drums, Sandy Nelson. That was Leon. The Fleetwoods, Come Softly to Me. That was Leon. Connie Francis, The Crystals, The Ronettes, every Phil Spector record. The Birds, Mr. Tambourine Man. Delaney and Bonnie, The Beach Boys, every Beach Boys record, including Pet Sounds. J.J. Cale, Harry Nilsson, Bob Dylan, Joe Cocker, Freddie King and B.B. King, just to name some of them that he played on. I lost touch with Leon in the early 1970s. And in 2009, I was in Africa, and I was shaving, and I put some music on the iPod, and I pressed Leon Russell, and I started to sob. And that music took me back to one of the greatest times of my life. And I thought, I have to call this person up. He gave me such a wonderful start in my life. He, mean, he meant so much to me, and I haven't talked to him for so long. Um, so I called him, and I said, would you like to do an album? And he said, sure. Last year in January, Leon and I embarked upon what was one of the greatest years of my life, uh, both musically and personally, because I got to know the man that I never knew. I got to spend time with him in the studio. Um, he was frail when he came in the studio. He had a five and a half hour brain operation. And suddenly, with the love from the musicians in the studio and the, all the other peers that came to pay tribute to him, he became stronger. And uh, I said to him, there's one thing I want for you. I want people to acknowledge you for what you've done, to remember you for what you've written, what you've played on, and for you to be proud again of what you've done. And I want you to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And here we are a year later, and he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And You know, at the end of the year, I phoned him up and said, Leon, it's been a great year. He said, yeah, I got a new bus. And I've got to know and love someone who I treasured as a musician, treasured as an artist. So I, it's my great pleasure to show you a film about Leon Russell. I feel like I have to say, if you leave this place tonight and you don't feel like you had a religious experience, why don't you just get your money back? Because I don't need it. Do you hear me? One, two, three, four. Roll away. Oklahoma, at the time I was living there, was a dry state. Consequently, there wasn't any liquor laws, and I was able to start playing in nightclubs when I was 14. Don't leave me laying here. What will they do in 2000 years? Bangladesh concert was really an opportunity for me to go out and play out all my rock and roll fantasies that I'd had ever since I was five or six. A couple of numbers from Leon. I'm saying one 
And I kind of have the theory that really most writers just have one song. If you can get that one right, well, you're doing okay. I love you in a place where there's no space and time. I love you for my life, you are a friend of mine. And when my life is over, remember when we were together. Oh. We were alone and I was singing this song to you An American legend, an American icon, Leon Russell Great to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But I have to tell you something else that's also great. About a year ago, Elton came and found me in a ditch by the side of the highway of life. He took me up to the high stages with big audiences and uh, treated me like a king. And the only thing I can say is, bless your heart. Also, uh, I want to say thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, hallelujah. In my life and time I sung a lot of song I made some bad rhyme I acted out my life on stage and With 10,000 people watching But we're long Now I'm singing this song for you I know your image of me And what I hope to be I treated you unkindly Can't you see No, if I'm more important to me Darling, can't you please sing through me When we're alone And I'm singing this song for you Taught me precious secret The truth will hold and nothing You came out in front I was high But now I'm so much better If these words don't come together Listen to the melody, my love And they're
love you for my life Darling, you're a friend of mine When my life is over Remember when we were together We were alone And I was singing this song for you We were alone I was singing this song for you We were alone And I was singing this song